Hello and welcome to this final video in this series on Shopify Online Store 2.0. In the previous videos, we covered some of the other big announcements with Online Store 2.0, such as the new meta field functionality, the GitHub integration, and the extension of Shopify CLI to work with themes. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the new theme architecture and show you guys how to move a theme created with liquid templates into the new templates as JSON system. So as part of the online store 2.0 announcements, Shopify finally announced the arrival of a feature they've been talking about for quite some time, sections everywhere. Previously, the homepage was the only template that merchants were able to add, reorder and remove sections from. Now with the advent of JSON templates, that functionality has been extended to all templates, such as the product template, the collection template and the page template to name a few. In the new system, templates can be of either liquid or JSON. The choice is yours. However, if you choose to stay with liquid templates, the section functionality that you've been accustomed to on the home page will not be extended to the other templates. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your liquid templates with JSON templates, therefore allowing you to take advantage of this new feature. So let's get started. All right, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna keep things in the browser. I've got three tabs open at the moment. Number one, my development store, Chris Testing Shop, as usual. And in the second tab, I've got the official documentation from Shopify on how to migrate a theme to the online store 2.0 system, which is essentially how to migrate your liquid templates into JSON templates. As you can see, there's quite a lot of detail here. If you wanna follow along this, feel free to, but I'm here to make the process a little simpler and to show you a visual representation of how you can move through this process. As you can see, there's nine different steps here what I've done is I've simplified it into four different steps, which are remove the section tags, move surrounding code into their own sections, replace the liquid template with a JSON template and add in the references to the sections in your new JSON template. Okay, so this is based off of what we have here. Obviously, they're going to suggest that you back up your theme, but the real process starts here when you identify and remove section references then we move code from the template into a section, which is either adding code to an existing section, or I would say more commonly adding code to a new section. We're gonna delete the liquid file, replace it with a JSON template file, and then add the references to the sections. So as you can see, there's some extra steps in here, but essentially this is the process. Removing the section tags because we can't have a section within a section, and then moving the surrounding code around those section tags into their own sections as we can no longer have liquid code in our templates. And then we're gonna make that official switch from liquid to JSON and then add in the references to our new JSON template. So we're gonna take out those liquid references to sections and then add those references in the new JSON template, which makes them dynamic and therefore allows you to go into the store editor and rearrange sections because it's stored in data rather than liquid. And right at the end, we will start to see that. So as an example, if we go into a theme that was created before June 2021, which was when Dawn came out and this new online store system was announced, you might remember that Debut was the default theme that was installed on your store when you created the store. This was previous to June 2021. And as you can see here, I've got a few different version numbers here. It doesn't really matter the specific version. I'm gonna click on this one, which I believe is the latest one I have and click customize. As you can see here, we have the same theme editor that we would on an online store 2.0 theme. And on the home page, at least, we can rearrange the sections, add new sections and remove sections that are already existing. Right, But if we go to a template like the product template here, you'll see that we have our section code here, but we don't have the option to add a section. And if we go in here, there's no option to remove that section. And that's because it's hard coded with liquid templates. So essentially the benefit of these JSON templates is that they allow this functionality, this sections everywhere functionality. And lucky for us, it's pretty simple to migrate a theme like this into a JSON system. And that is exactly what we're going to do right now. All right, so I'm going to exit out of here 
and I'm gonna make my modifications directly in the online code editor. I obviously recommend you work locally whenever you can, but for the purposes of this video, we don't really need it. I'm just gonna demonstrate how we can migrate these liquid templates to JSON templates. So it's perfectly fine to demonstrate on the online store. What I'm gonna do is duplicate this out. And up here, I'm going to rename this debut and maybe just say OS 2.0 to denote that we are switching to JSON templates. All right, so now I'm gonna go into actions, edit code, and let's get started migrating our liquid templates into JSON templates. I'm gonna expand this over here and zoom in just one step more for you guys so you can see clearer. Let's just recap our steps one more time before we jump into it. We're going to go through each of the liquid templates, remove any section tags, move that surrounding code into its own section, and then delete the liquid template, replace it with a JSON template, and then add in those references to the sections, okay? So let's get started right away with our first template, which is the 404 template. All right, so I'm gonna click into that one right now. And as you can see, we have some liquid code. The first step, remove any section tags. So I'm going to, I can see here that it doesn't, but just for completeness sake, let's actually search the code and search for any section tags. There are none, so all we have to do is move this code into its own section. So I'm going to copy this, scroll down here to sections, and following this convention here with the sections, I'm gonna call this 404 template. This is an arbitrary name, but it's just gonna be nicer because it's gonna follow this format here that has already been set in the debut theme, which is to write the name of the template followed by dash template, okay? In here, I'm going to give this a section name, 404 template. You can call, call it whatever you want, just as long as it makes sense. And then I'm going to paste in that code. Then I'm gonna hit save on that. And so that's now step two completed. And now I'm going to replace the liquid template with a JSON template. So that's a two steps within one there. I need to delete this file completely. Make sure you have that code stored in a section before you do this, otherwise you'll lose your code. So I'm gonna delete that. And now I'm going to recreate it by clicking add a new template. I'm going to select 404 and I'm going to have this selected as JSON, not liquid. I'm gonna click create template. It's going to give me a little bit of boilerplate code to work with here. And right now is where you'll need at least some knowledge of how to write JSON templates. I talk about this concept specifically in lesson 11 of my Skillshare class, Shopify theme development, how to build and customize your own online store. So I'm not gonna go into great detail about JSON templates and the theory behind them. Essentially, here is the convention. We need to create a new object here with a key here. I'm going to call it main because it is the main section that's gonna go in here. And all we need as a bare minimum inside this object is a type attribute. And the type attribute is equal to the file name of the section file minus the dot liquid, okay? So all we have to do is 404-template, and then to complete this process, all we need to do is to go into our order array here and put in the section name, which matches here, okay? So a few steps there, but it's pretty simple. We create a section object with a key. If it's the main section, a good one to use is main, and then inside that object, all we need is to put in an attribute of type, which is equal to the file name of the section without the dot liquid. And then we just add that object key to our order array here. Okay, so I'll hit save on that. As you can see, asset is now saved. And if I go to customize theme now, I'm gonna do that in a new tab. And let's jump over to our 404 template. I believe it's under others, 404 page. And as you can see here, we've got a section for our 404 page template, but we can also add in other sections underneath it. So we could add in a gallery randomly and we can move that gallery above our standard 404 template. 
now we have a JSON template, we have just enabled reorderable sections on this template. And that is essentially the process. We've just done it with a simple example, which is the 404 template. And theoretically, if you understand this process, you can just go through and do all of the other templates yourself. Okay, so you can skip the rest of this video now if you understand it and you're done if you know how to do these four steps over and over again. But like I said, the 404 example was a pretty simple example. So I'm going to go through a few more examples to drill at home for you guys. Okay, so let's go through some of the really important templates such as the product template. Okay, so I'm going to remove these here from our tabs. And as you can see here, we've got references to two different sections. Plus, we've also got some additional surrounding code. So we've got our two sections here, product template and product recommendations. What I need to do is make sure this becomes a section as well. So I'm going to take all the code that comes after these section references, cut that, and I'm going to create a new section and I think I'm just going to call this product bottom for lack of a better title. Create that section. I'm going to call it product bottom. Then above the section tag, I'm going to paste in that code. Okay. It's so going to hit save on that. And before we remove this liquid file altogether, we just need to remember the sections that we want to bring in. We want to bring in product dash template, product dash recommendations and product dash bottom. So maybe I'll just open those up now so we have them in our tabs so we know exactly which ones to do in which order. So we're going to go product dash template, product dash recommendations and product dash bottom. So now that we have that in mind, we can then delete this liquid product template and create a product template again, but this time in JSON. So I'm going to create that template and here's where we link up those sections. So here I'm going to go main again and then here one attribute which is type which of course equals the file name of the section minus the dot liquid. So product dash template. Then I'm going to create another object here which I'll call recommendations. Open up that object and then again type which is going to match this which is product recommendations and then our final object here which is bottom again type is equal to the file name minus dot liquid so it's just going to be product bottom all right so now we have to just add those to our order array so i'm going to go main comma recommendations comma bottom and that should be that. So I'm going to hit save on that one. It looks like I've misspelt that. I think I put in an extra M there. Correct that and hit save and it looks like we're all good. And now if I go to customize theme to verify that that has come across correctly. And I go into my product template here. I need to refresh to grab that new product template. Sometimes there's a bit of a delay here, but refreshing should do the trick. And there you can see we've got our default product template there. So now you can see our product template is just like it was beforehand. It all works fine. We've got our three sections here, but now we can rearrange them. So we might want to put recommendations above the standard product template, which is probably not a good idea. And we can add new sections, rearrange those sections, and remove those sections all through the theme customizer. All right, so I'm gonna move a bit faster through the other ones here as we've already demonstrated the concept. So I'm gonna go with the next template, which let's go with collection. So here you can see it's just one reference to the collection template, which is already in a section. So we can delete this file. We don't have to go through the first two steps. And all we have to do is create a collection template in here, give the object a key of main, just like we've done before. And then for type, that's going to be equal to the section file name minus the dot liquid, as I've said time and time again, which I believe was just collection. Then in our order array, put in main. 
Hit save on that. Let's test that one. Click up here to find our collection template. We're going to need to refresh. Click into here, collections, default collection. And there you go, we've got our collection section there and we can add new sections and remove those sections, okay? So essentially, that's the process. Maybe I'll do one more for demonstration purposes. The product one was pretty complicated as far as examples go, but um, let me see if there's another one here that I can show you. All right, here we go. The article template seems to have a bit of surrounding code. Let me search for section references in here. Okay, here you go. We have at least one section reference. So we've got article template. So this one's a bit of a trickier one because we've got code that sits above it and below it. Okay, so what we could do is move all of this into this section file here and then create a new section for blog comments and whatever else is at the bottom of the page. Or we can create a section for above and below. I think in this case, it makes more sense to move this surrounding code into the section file itself. So that's what I'm gonna do in this example. So I'm going to open up this section file and let's add in that surrounding code. So I'm going to take this, I'm gonna to have to fix the nesting here. So I'm gonna go in like that and then take the other part and put it at the end. I'm gonna hit save on that. We've got some code, liquid code here that needs to go somewhere. I'm going to take that as it relates to comments and just put it below here. And what I'm gonna do is create a whole new section for everything below this article template. So I'm gonna take all of this code up to here cut it, go into my sections folder here, add a new section, and let's call this article comments or article bottom, whatever you want to call it, bottom. Then I'm going to change the name in the schema, article bottom. And then above the schema tags, I'm going to paste in that code. So that should still work. I'm going to go over to our article template here and we've got our article template sectionized into two sections, article dash template, article dash bottom. So I'm now free to remove this file altogether and let's recreate our article template in JSON format. Click create on that, head into here and just like we've done time and time again, I'm going to create a object with the key of main type article template, second object here of bottom, which the file name for that one is article bottom. And then just putting those into our order array, main and bottom. All right, let's hit save on that one. And let's double check that that is all working correctly. If I go into my customizer here, head into my template selector up here, find the blog post, which is essentially an article, and hit default blog post. You can see here that I've got the first section, which is posts and article bottom. And again, as this is an online store 2.0 theme now, because we've used JSON templates, I can go in here, create references to new sections, remove those and reorder them. That is the power of Online Store 2.0, and it doesn't actually take that much to migrate a theme from Liquid Templates to JSON Templates, which is essentially what an Online Store 2.0 theme is. So a lot of people are getting caught up in the, the drama of, oh my God, there's this new version of Shopify, has everything changed? Not really. We can simply move our Liquid Templates into JSON Templates and get the same functionality as any Online Store 2.0 theme. So if you wanna to upgrade to 2.0, you don't really have to create a whole new theme. You can simply migrate your existing theme to Online Store 2.0. We've obviously got some other templates here like blog and cart. These ones look pretty simple. 
They look quite similar to the situation we had in the collection template, but I encourage you to go through, change all of these, update these to JSON, and let me know how you go. If you have any issues, leave them in the comments below, but that is essentially the process. And if you're lost at any stage of this process, obviously have another read of the documentation. But for me, it's four simple steps. We need to remove those section tags, remove any surrounding code around those section tags into their own sections, replace the liquid templates with a JSON template and add in those references to the sections in your new JSON template. Your store will look exactly the same, but the difference is when you go into this customizer now, you will have the ability to add new sections, remove those sections and reorder them all through the customizer, which is something we never had as a possibility using liquid templates before June 2021 when Online Store 2.0 was announced. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video series on Online Store 2.0. Again, a reminder for my Skillshare students, all of these changes have been addressed in my three Shopify classes via additional videos that go further in depth on the Shopify See Your Life at Themes and the new JSON templates. If you learned something new today, I encourage you to leave a comment and a like on this video, and I'll see you on the next one.